Hi hey everyone. I'm just looking in here now on the floor. I'm gonna take that bit off because it's already flapping around. I'm gonna make a start on the chassis. So that's what I'm doing today. And then I'm gonna assess the floor. I know I said I was gonna get a floor pan for it. I just wanna see what's what. And go from there. I wanna clean some of that off up there. I wanna check this floor out properly because I've got things on my mind which I will make clearer later on once I've looked at it and I'll uh, let you know my plans possibly my plans we'll see great big hole there right and all across there all this is still solid there all up there is still solid up there is solid up there at the back hopefully is still solid for my plan to work so I'll get back to you soon. This is what I'm doing. I'm taking out the old chassis rail. All this metal here is clean. So I'm taking out this chassis rail, ready to put the new one in. And then I've got to clean up them ends. I've got to jack up this section of the floor. So there's a I got the spot welds. So that's what I'm doing right now. Let's get my way in. Yep. So, it's so frustrating having to undo all of these. Um, but once that new chassis arrives in, I'm going to feel a heck of a lot better because it means my car won't be in half no more because the other chassis rail is not too bad so I don't need to rush and do that yet so I'll go around doing this and then I'll get back to you right that's the old this is the old um, chassis rail out just got to work on this bit and in there that just does not look right to me so that's the old one, I'm going to keep that because I'm going to take a little piece of that out. Some good stuff. Take a good piece out. Because I'm hoping to repair the rear boot section with some of this. If it's the same thickness, if it's not, no big deal. Yeah, so that's what I've done so far. I'm going to start getting the new one in place but I've got to sort that out because that's not right somebody's modified that so I've got to mess around with that now because I don't know what they've done to it but that's just not right um yeah I'll be back very shortly well I've got a slightly bigger job than I expected somebody's been in here before I've, and altered it that's the bit there, all cleaned up. This is the bit I took off. If you look at it, someone's added some heavy steel or whatever it is in there. Welded it up along the side there. So somebody's done a repair on the chassis before. I mean, this isn't normal. So I've now got to go and rectify all of that. Which means I'm, I'm going to try and get, I'm going to have to try and do a similar thing, because this is a bit too thin. Um, I think my chassis will already be wide in that, I'm going to have to make a little cup that goes over that. So, somebody's had some good fun with this. So, let's recreate and rebuild um, it's so pitied they obviously never put no protection in there so I'll get on to that and I'll be back with you shortly um, obviously I'm going to put some brush treatment in there clean all of that up that's remaining in there ready to receive the new chassis rail and then I've got to go and work on that back bit there Hopefully by the end of today, my new chassis rail will be in. Can't wait for that. Um, 
what else? That was it, weren't it? Right, I'll get to this and I'll be back with you shortly. Yuck. I've started welding that. Got that big seam weld. I've turned the weld all the way up. Well, most of the way up. And now I've got a big seam weld across there. Look how thick that is. Just gotta grind that down and I've got to repair that bit at the bottom there. I've finished cleaning all of this up. I've had to put this piece of metal in. That's hot. Right, put that piece of metal in there. This bit because it was all missing. Obviously I've got to finish shaping it to match this side. I've finished cleaning it all up. On the inside as well. Grind all that down and then that can be ready to put back in the actual um, chassis rail. I've just got to put another piece in the bottom there. And I'll get back to you when I've uh, done that. This is obviously very important. I've rust treated all of that. The lip all at the top straightened. That's rust treated. I've just got to get a wire wheel in it. This is the bit. It's hot at the minute. This bit's got to go back underneath here. I'll be back with you when that's back on and I'll show you what I mean. Right, that's all mended and brush treated. I've had to rebuild all of that. It's fixed and brush treated. I've brush treated in there, but I'm going to also give it a good clean after the brush treatment has worked. That has then got to be welded onto the bottom of this. And then my um, chassis rail then goes over all of that and welds in. Um, but I can't put the chassis wire rail in yet because obviously I've got to do that bit so that'll be my next job once I've tacked this in so I'll tack that in to there and I'll show you again when I come back I'll come back and show you that before I put the chassis rail in uh, you know when it's ready to be put in I've got to also then move to this one and reinforce that one might not be able to do it today because I've got to find some fixed steel to put in there. So that's going to take me a while on its own. This has took me most of the day. So I'll get back to you when I've done some more. Right, that bit's going back on now. I've just welded it. Got a big fat seam weld. One on that side as well. Just got to grind them down. I've got to do a bit more up there and up there. And then I've got to do it down the side here. And then my chassis rail can go on I wasn't expecting to have to uh, work with somebody else's job uh, work I thought you know just cut it off put the new one on never the case with this car somebody's already been in there um, but at least I know what I'm getting into on the other side so I'm gonna get back to that I'm gonna finish welding that up clean it and then I've got to move on to the back one <laughs> so that's my day's job that I've been doing today Let's see if I can do these and do that for a minute and do that and there it is so I've got to give up there a little tap in wild again and then I've got to put um, some wilds up the side and then obviously when the inner rail goes on it's going to be spot welded, uh, spot welded from the sides, and obviously inside you've got to drill a couple of holes. So that's it. Get in there. I'll tell you what, that has not been fun. <laughs> it's been really hard. Uh, I've tried the chassis rail on, and it does line up with these corner edges here, that where it sits up and tucks underneath. There is another reinforcement bar that's got to go on the end of here into the actual sill. I don't know if that belongs there or if they've put that there, but I'm just going to put it back. So, yep. Yeah. That's it. Pretty good. I'll uh, bring you back when I've uh, finished it up on that bit. That's that all done. That is welded in. Welded. Seam welded all the way up there, 
to there. I've welded up the side here. Let me just demonstrate one thing. Uh, here's my hammer. Listen to this. And also, if I get my jack, this flipping jack thing keeps coming out. I need a new jack. Everything's breaking. <laughs> uh, I can't actually put the chassis rail on today because I've got to uh, finish building the back section. Let me do this. Finish building the back section, uh, and I've got to treat inside the chassis rail, obviously. Finish grinding it. I want to put a bit more rust treatment in there to leave the soak overnight. Uh, so I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I mean, obviously, I think the time's getting on a bit now. Uh, I've got to fix this this bit here before the trussie rail can even go on. I have been working on this floor. I'm thinking of my plan, which I will demonstrate at a later date. Put that there because I'm going to be making a new one of them. But in the meantime, I'll probably weld something from there to here to hold this in place while I work on the rest of it. And yeah, I've also got to clean up there to see what metal's up there. Um, and then whether that's all right up there is whether my plan will come in action so we'll see I don't want to disclose it yet because <laughs> I don't want no hate from it uh, yeah I'll bring you back when I finish up that and I'll see you in a minute right I've moved on to the back which is here and you'll be lucky to be crowded on the end so I've got to build a bit of strengthener in there I right, cut up here because in there it was full of crap rust. I think I got to this just in time. Now I can brush treatment there and put a new lip on here with some thicker steel. Um, it's all still solid. Everywhere, I got to that just in time. Any longer, and this would have been knackered. This will clean up lovely. Got up to that in time. Any longer, and I think that would have been completely damaged. Up there is perfect, clean. But here, I think all the rust falling through the rust holes into there and obviously with that I've just got to do some work to the end bit here with some thick steel uh, I'm going to finish cleaning inside there yeah I reckon if I did it any longer this would have been knackered it's solid everywhere else apart from here a little bit Sort that. So, this needs a whole new repair piece in there in to strengthen this up. The front one is done, it's just got to wait on me doing this one now, and then the chassis rail can go in. But I'm going to clean all this and do some repairs in here. Obviously, I can't do that right now because I need to go and get some more materials. I'm just going to finish cleaning it up and I'll bring it back. Right, 
come to the end of my day. I've got to clean. I've got to open up all of this so that I can get into here. All in there, solid, all solid. I've got to do a repair on this end. So that's going to be something that I'm just going to have to run in there, across, like that, and up to strengthen all of this and cut out that old stuff. So, not worried about that. That end's ready. That end's ready there. But I can't put that end in. Like, weld it in. Show you closely. All of that's ready. I can't put that end, I can't weld that end in until I've fixed that end. So, get in there, kneel in. Once that's in, I'm going to put a support across. I'm about to open that up to get all the rust out of there that's fell through the holes. All in there is solid, up there is nice. It's just here, unfortunately. But I will sort that out. I am not concerned about that at all. Because I'm going to... The old one of these rails is really thick. It's the same thickness as this. So the, so the inner rail that I took off, I'm going to cut a piece out of it, a good piece, because there is some good bits left in it, and I'm going to use that to repair this. So it's all there in my head, plan ready. I've just got to get a couple of more materials before I can carry on. But I'm really happy with the way this is turning out. I've got my jack. Underneath with a piece of wood going across to jack this up so it's solid. So we're almost we're almost there to having an old car rather than being in half. Which I'm really excited about. All these spot weld holes line up with the chassis rail all the way across. It's actually ready to go in. I've just gotta do that repair. And uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, oh yeah. Um, the plan that I've got in my head, I want you all to guess and comment below what you think it is with this floor. I'll give you a clue. I've been cleaning it. I'm finding all the strong metal. I've cut that. And I've also in the process of making something. That's all I'm saying. You won't, you won't actually fully know until I show it. <laughs> Guess, put all your guesses below what I'm planning. Because I've gone through this whole floor and that lip, I can make. <laughs> already done experiments I can make it uh, so guess and comment below I'm not going to answer you we'll find out later on so now that I've done that side I know what to do when I get to that side so I'm not so dreading it now I'm really chuffed with everything that's going on in here. Uh, I've chopped that in half, and you, you probably already guess why, because it was all missing here. So I'm going to start fabricating the other half of this, making a new end. So I'm just going to make a new one, which goes up to there, by using the other side, but obviously the other side seat plate would have to be made for this side because obviously it slants down and if I make it on the other side it would be slanting the other way. Is that right? Yes. Because I'd be turning it round and then it would be slanting the wrong way so I've got to remember that. Uh, all underneath in there, clean all the way across. You're going to see some big changes in the next month or so. so keep watching please like and subscribe 
I've noticed I've been losing some subscribers. I hope I'm not boring everyone. I hate it when I lose subscribers because I feel like I'm losing part of my crew, part of my YouTube family. I don't want to bore people. But we're on to the next chapter now. We're on the inside doing some serious work. So please like and subscribe. I've got, um, I think I'm um, 50 away from 3,000 watch time. So you lot have really been helping me by watching my content. And I really, really thank you and appreciate you. Uh, Courtney does as well. Because if I succeed, she's going to be getting everything. I've even got uh, the stereo system already planned out. And the speaker system. Even though I'm far off that. But when I'm working on the dash, I've got to have that in mind. I know it's too early for a stereo, but when I'm working on the dashboard, it's got to be in my mind. I've pretty much got to have the unit in my hand. Because this car's not going to be factory. I'm going to make it how I want it. And believe me, I've got some good plans in my head, and I can already see it. I've just got to bring them to light. And I hope you really enjoy what you're going to start watching. Because I'm telling you now... By the time I finish, this is going to be a one-off Cortina. I mean, I've already been modifying my focus. I mean, if you've seen the stereo system in that, you'd be amazed. Right, I'll let you go. Please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my content, and on to the next one. Bye-bye.